In this lesson, we're going to do a word problem that involves just some basic math operations. And the problem says you want to place a towel bar that is 9 and 3 fourths inches long in the center of a door that is 27 and a half inches wide. How far from each edge should you, should you place the towel bar? So the first thing that you should do is to draw a picture. And so I'm going to draw a, somewhat of a door here. And we know that this is 27.5 inches wide. So this is the door. And then we also have our towel bar. And we know this is 9.75 inches long. And so if we want the bar to be directly in the center, that means we're going to want the, we're going to want to place the midpoint of the bar on the midpoint of the door, of the door's width, if we want to be more specific. So first, if we find the midpoints, for the door, we know that's going to be 27.5 inches divided by 2, which gives us 13.75 inches is our midpoint. And so we can go ahead and go draw this in on our picture. So if we say our midpoint, just draw a little dash line, this will be, this distance is 13.75 inches. And then for the towel bar, we have 9.75 inches. And to find the midpoint, we divide by 2 to get directly in the center, which gives us 4.875 inches. So if we go up to our little towel bar, 4.875 inches. So now we can, since we know how far off of the center line, a towel bar will be on each side, left and right. We can go ahead and draw that in our picture. So if we draw our towel bar, we know that this distance here is 4.875, and we know this distance here is 4.875, because we just found that, because we wanted the midpoints to line up. So now, all we have to do to answer the question is find the distance from the edge that the bar is. So if again we look at our picture, we want to know this distance right here, which we can just call x. And that distance x will be equal to 13.75 inches minus the portion of the bar on this half of the door, which is 4.875 inches. So x is equal to 8.875 inches from the edge. So again, we just draw in a picture and fill in our missing information, then we can go ahead and solve for the value of 